hi guys welcome back to another video uh, for this video I'll be showing you how to integrate stripe from stripe.com which is a payment processing platform with your bubble application right so stripe is a, a payment processing gateway allows you to receive payments you know from your customers on your website you know you integrate via api or via plugin or webhook whatever the case may be for this one we'll be integrating stripe with the no code tool bubble.io and um for my tool i'll be integrating with virtualghostwriter.com which is an ai copywriter software that i built on bubble and i'll show you how to integrate stripe so in my stripe dashboard here i already signed up for stripe and i have my account i'm logged in on my dashboard on the home page i select viewing test data it's selected so the data here is just test data and um, i'll show you how to do a test payment which will reflect in your uh, test data dashboard so to integrate with bubble i would go to products here is my virtual ghost writer product already have it there it's a 19 99 per month subscription product uh, you would add a product you put the name of the product the description of the product the image and pricing I recommend leaving usage is metered unchecked for now for the purposes of running the test application that I am about to do and you can set the billing period you know whether it's a one-time payment or a recurring payment and you save the product right so for my test product virtual ghostwriter I'm going to make a note of the pricing API ID this ID here I'm gonna make up a note of that because that's what I'm gonna copy and put into uh my stripe api on bubble so you have the name you have the id i have the image and my pricing is there and i'm gonna copy to clipboard this api id and keep it somewhere safe for integration with my bubble app okay so the next step is to get the API keys so we navigate to the home section of the dashboard and we get the test API keys right so we enabled viewing test data we created a product and we get the test API keys however when going live when you have completed the testing you would deselect Viewing test data, hit products, and you would create the same product in the live environment as well. And from there, get the pricing ID, just as we did before with the test data, you will get the pricing API ID from the live product, and then get the live. API keys right you get the live API keys okay so I'm in bubbles editor now and I've selected plugins on the left hand side and I've searched stripe so I would install the stripe plugin built by bubble right install stripe by bubble from there I would input the test secret key and publishable key here so the secret key goes on top publishable key goes below 
So I have my live keys here already because my app is live. But for the test environment, I would just publish the secret key and the publishable key here. So as it pertains to the workflow, whenever my subscriber would hit the subscribe button from my plans, I would collect the user's credit card information, subscribe the user to a plan, and I would make changes to the current user. This is my workflow. So in the subscribe the user to a plan, the Stripe plan name would be the plans Stripe ID, right? I'll show you how I get that set up in the, in the database. So please note the selections here. And in the Stripe plan name, would be this parent group's Stripe ID. How to collect user's credit card and subscribe to the user. It's under the payment section. Subscribe user to a plan, collect the user's credit card information. That's what I would do in the workflow here. In the data section, where I have my plans, I set up a plan with the stripe id inputted this is from the pricing section in the product from stripe i will put in the price the same price that i have in um, stripes product as well as the name of the product right let's take a look at the at how the subscription box is set up. So here is the subscription box, $9.99 per month. It search for plans and it selects the first item. So plans is a data type which I just showed you in the database and it selects the first item. We only have one item because it's a one uh, type plan subscription model right so the first item is simply what I have here and it would read the stripe ID in the workflow and subscribe the user to that plan call the call the API and it would read in the stripe dashboard so let's do a test virtualghostwriter.com I'm already logged in when I hit subscribe it would prompt me for my card number and all the, the credentials necessary to make the subscription so that's it thanks for watching if you have any questions please feel free to hit me up in the comments below subscribe like the video share your comments thanks for watching again